verse 3, he says, I sought in mine heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting mine heart with wisdom, to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under heaven all the days of their life. He is now seeking after wine, and yet acquainting himself with wisdom. My presumption, given all that we've discussed about the I, I, me, me, and him trying to come down and disconnect, was that that wine was alcoholic. He came down to a point where he was going to taste of wine, right? That's the more cultured beverage the world will tell you. That's the more sophisticated beverage the culture and the world will tell you. Wine is a mocker and strong drink is raging, and those that are deceived thereby are not wise. Don't let the world fool you into thinking that wine, alcoholic wine, is somehow more sophisticated. It's twice as alcoholic as beer. It'll ruin your life. It'll ruin your family. It'll ruin everything and destroy you in the end. You drink right. it, you're deceived. Right. You're being lied to. That's right. And yet Solomon takes upon himself to give himself unto it, yet acquainting his heart with wisdom. He's like one of those philosophers, one of those Stoics who is taking wine as a way of cooling himself down, relaxing, getting his mind focused in the right framework so that he can, he can really grasp a hold of some things. He can really make some wise decisions, some wise things. But that, that's, a, that's a lie. He, he, he's deceived. He's corrupt. He's, he's ruining himself through that. But he does this, it seems, to get on the same level as those that are in the world. He wants to see what is good for the sons of men. And does not the world teach that, you know, if you're sad, if you're alone, just have a bud stupider, and now all of a sudden you have all these friends, and you're partying, and suddenly you have muscles, and like ladies like you. Like, it, it preaches that foolishness that alcohol is going to somehow make you a better person. And the whole world believes that nonsense, right? They, they work towards their next paycheck so they can go pick up their next drink so that they can go and feel really cool when a sober person will look at them and say, this guy's acting like an idiot, but in his mind he thinks he's so cool, so wise, so smooth as he talks to people. It's a lie. He's deceived. And here Solomon, he takes that alcoholic wine. He tries to study. He tries to be a philosopher. Why? So that he can lay hold on, he can grasp folly. He gets drunk so that he can understand the folly of it all. He gets, he gets drunk so that he can understand how stupid people are for doing that thing. Solomon, in his experimental mentality and his mindset for really grasping what the sons of men experiences, goes to the point of drinking, trying to maintain his wisdom, and ends up grabbing hold of folly. He ends up understanding just how stupid it is to drink that junk. 